Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> Yo, what's everyone doing today, YouTube's man, child? All right, so I thought I'd come, uh, I wanted to do a review on this guy here. Now, I showed him one of my, um, like, toy haul updates or something like that. I had it for a little while. Um, I had COVID. I'm, I'm doing much better now so I can talk better. And it's kind of what I was waiting to, so I can get to this, my next figure anyway. Um, so obviously it's from the Netflix, The Witcher, you know, a show, uh, Kikamura. Now I've only seen one of them on, somebody posted one on YouTube, The Witcher. I, I don't have Netflix anymore. I have Amazon Prime. But what a cool show. Um, and I did see the scene with the battle with this uh, particular figure. I think the figure, uh, Vladimir, or his character, he was fighting him in the, in the, yeah, the swamps, looked really cool, but, you know, I, obviously, I love Master Universe, and when there's not enough of that out, I, I love, if, especially, and you know, McFarlane made this, and what's cool is, he puts top-notch detail in the, obviously, most of his stuff, um, I, I, I'm always up for big monsters and mixed with your, uh, toy collection, again, what it, it's a lot on my channel, whether it's your Master Universe, or NECA stuff, or, yeah, other McFarlane figures or Spawn or whatever you're into, but you know it's it's odd to see like really highly articulated, highly detailed creatures like this. And the only aside of Necker, only McFarlane seems to do that. You know, produce stuff like this and at least make it affordable. And this is going to be in retail, of course. I got my, I think on um, mine came from Amazon, believe it or not. It's, uh, Amazon has a stock. All right, so start. I spun around so back of the box art. Um. Looks like he comes with an alternative head, and it's interesting. It shows this sword. Now, I don't see a sword in here, and I'm assuming you got to have a Witcher. I do have one of the Witcher figure. We'll try it out. It doesn't have this particular sword. But I remember in the swamp scene, um, the character, when he fought him, he stuck the... Basically, I think that's how he killed him. He sucked the sword up to his head. So it's kind of a battle damage, uh, looks like, version of the head. That's pretty cool. comes with that. All right, got him out of the box. Cut all the ties off from you. Before we open all the arms up, give him a look around. Uh... It's pretty creepy looking. He looks like looks like something you serve on a platter. You caught in a crab cage or something. Getting ready to eat with your uh, potato shrimp. <laughs> All right, so we'll bring him up close a little bit. So yeah, as far as a head, I don't see. Like I said, there's two different heads, but the, as far as the articulation, go down, up, and they kind of go left to right and spin. Um, yeah, the detail's awesome. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the teeth, the mouth, but there's not. There's the jaw doesn't articulate or nothing like that. So it's just kind of its own thing on a ball peg. Uh, you kind of see all the, um, yeah, just great detail. All the, look at the back. Yeah, it's like a, uh, giant crab monster. Yeah, ball joints all down. So you have eight arms total, legs, back and, you know, all, both sides. How it comes all folded up. So, um, yeah, well, I don't know how many, we'll see how many points articulation is, but yeah, I think it's pretty neat how it comes like that. Let's, uh, we'll go through the articulation with the legs. So obviously they can spin. Got a double knee joint there. In and out and then it's just kind of pre-posed here and then you also got it in the foot like well, this so obviously we're starting with the back legs and the toes are just sculpted there's no no articulation and then the second leg in it's kind of also has its own design same thing ball joint it's spin around up and down same thing double knee and then this one has one okay uh, one uh pin there and it's same thing. there's nothing in the toes all right we'll do the third one in up and down same thing, double knee there, and yep, single toe. And in the front, look at that, man. Art, great articulation, I'll tell you that. Pretty cool. Same thing here, and then this one's also got, yeah, double toe and then one, one joint and a foot. All right, so we got everything folded out. Uh, the right or the um, left side's the same as the right where I started, but uh, I'm really impressed with this thing. Um, and the only thing different is the front also has, like, there's articulated points here where you kind of spin it left to right. That's the only thing different seems with the leg. I saw the legs all they're conformed different, and they seem like, for the most part, they almost match each other. Like you know, as far as what these two fronts and the the back, so forth and so on. As far as design and sculpt, I guess similar to the show. And this is the bottom of it all opened up. This thing's really big. Right, let's take a me I'm gonna measure it. All right, so I try to keep it on a bigger t t bigger turntable here, and uh. You obviously, you have to mess around with the legs because some obviously just start mess. You know, they, they become loose, and this one don't. You know, to try to get them all flat, it's it doesn't work. You know, it's you got you got to play around with it. But I'm just curious, so I try to bring it in as close as I can, and still keep it stable, and get the right height and that kind of thing. So let's. I'm just curious with the height. Things almost. It's about eight and a half, eight and three quarters of an inch is all the way to the back. 
we'll flip it upside down for a minute. We'll just go, let's bring two legs out. Something like, I guess like these ones here, if you see that. It's close to, excuse me, 18 inches it looks like. More or less. And we'll say 20 if you do the, the toes. Let's look about 20 inches. All right, now, these two in the front are, to me, the most critical. You probably want to pose, you know, for what attacking your figures or whatever. But so you can already see these are the worst legs of, of the uh, all, all eight of them. Really loose in the ball joints. I'm not. This one's pretty tight. Okay, so it's, it seems to be this side. I do have a, um, a liquid that might help tighten that. I've showed it on my channel before, but let's uh, spin them around while he's, we have them all legs out position. Man, that is so cool. Look at that. Even the background, my other creatures and monsters I set up. He can go good with anything. That is a piece of art in itself. I'll tell you that. You don't, we don't see this every day as far as monsters. Right, so I'm going to bring in... This is the only other, we'll call it accessory, the uh, battle damage head you get. Uh, similar to that scene in the Swamp Scene in the show. Yeah, just the open screaming mouth. Real bloody now. You can see there's, there's a slot for a sword to go through it. And you'd have to have that... Uh, the Witcher, the um, Vladimir character. I don't have him. I do have another Witcher character. I guess with his particular sword to work. Um, now the only sword I did find, I'm gonna bring a samurai from like one of my spawn figures. So you can see there's just kind of give an example how tight that, and you can see how small the sword is. Like this particular sword, some it works, see? Eh? And that's more or less how it would go through the head. So obviously the McFarlane's Witcher character sword is really thin. I I haven't seen it in person, but that's that's just. What are you gonna get it? You can't get a bigger style sword, so I'll, I'll kind of show you that. All right, so for a second, I'm gonna bring. So it's another McFarlane Witcher figure. It's the only one I want to have now. I don't plan on getting big into the series. I'm on my channel. You notice I love mix and matching things for my Motu, my neck, all kinds of stuff, especially monsters or just he just looked unique. I like that skull, you know, just that steel skull helmet and the. I, it's just cool, you know. So I'll, I'll pick up figures like that to go in with my other stuff. Um. I want to show you now. This is his sword for a second. Look at the size of that. Now, I'm not familiar with this character. I bought him loose. I think his name was the Wild Hunt Iridan or something. I think they call him in the show. I don't know. You, you know, if uh, he's correct me in the comments, but he looked cool. And I think he goes good with my spawn stuff. But see, like a sword like that is not going to work. That style. You can just see this particular character sword. Look at the size of that. It, there's no way it will go through less. Yeah, you took a drill and you opened that up or something, but I just kind of wanted to show you that. So right, if you're not familiar, this is the ball peg. The head pops off real easy. That's the ball peg. So let's uh, switch on the battle damage head and see what that looks like. All right, there we go. So it ain't exactly seen accurate, but I'll put my whatever Witcher character I have and I use the spawn sword. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's do a little uh, comparison here. So obviously we have, for, for size anyway, um, uh, one of McFarlane's the Witcher character I showed. Alright, I'll put him up against the Master Universe Origins uh, first release Battle Cat and Battle Armor He-Man. Yeah, they look cool together going head to head. Alright, got a little Master Universe Revelations. I got the newer release Triclops. Got these two guys together for height comparison. Got a little Storm Collectibles Reptile, Mortal Kombat. Alright, we got our neck of Bad Blood Predator. Okay, got those guys together for height comparison. Yeah, even though it's Predator against could be another uh, form of alien or xenomorph that hunts. All right, over here we have our Kenner inspired one of the uh, neck of Kenner inspired Xenomorphs, the blue one. So that's for size comparison. Look pretty cool together. I got him up against the Motu Classics He Man or the Flying Fist He Man. That that itself looks cool. That's a great to have something for your like I said your classics or your Revelations or Origins, if you're, especially for the Motu stuff. That really goes good. That's a creepy monster and it, just a scale, a size. I, I like having stuff like that. Look at those. Those two go great together. For one last comparison, we'll put them against one of Todd's old. Good old spawn, Mortal Kombat, it's Lord Covenant spawn. Yeah, that too. And he comes with a sword, um, just to pose. It, I really great. I'm so I'm so glad I picked this figure up. What a cool, just that he goes great with anything. All right, so overall, that's more or less my review on the uh, McFarlane's, the Witcher, Kikamura figure. Um, I yeah, like I said, I think this is such a cool figure to put in, you know if you want on your shelf or just against, you know, like the, like I get the background with your figure set up, and it can go great with anything. Just you don't. It's not too often we see monsters like this in a scale. The legs are kind of wonky. You can see me the way I position them. Things don't exactly sit. This one might overtake. You know, you got to really fool around with it. Some of the joint articulation is a little wonky. But for the most part, it doesn't matter. It seems to hold itself up no matter how you pose it. At least mine does. You know, was, like this one might not touch the ground, these two. But more or less, you know, I get, yeah, it's kind of how it would be in motion, I guess, walking two legs up, four legs down. But I think it's great. I'm so, I'm really happy I picked them up. You know, like I say, he's on Amazon now. Yeah, just uh, the head's pretty cool, but again, you know, you got this head, but you need that particular figure with the sword to do anything, or you'd have to have a real thin sword from another collection. But yeah, I hope that um, 
answers all your questions. I like them a lot. So, um, yeah, you go pick one up, man. Add it with your toy collection. You know, it's uh, definitely creepy. And if anything, you can put it out for Halloween or something. <laughs> but I appreciate it. You know, uh, thanks for watching. I hope they answer all your questions. I hope everybody's doing great. And until next time, take care.